What's up YouTube, Jbo here, and today I'm gonna get to show you my latest creation, the Cillin RTA. So rather than just talk about it, I wanna dive down and show you all the little details of this guy. So here's a first look at the deck with these nice big juice holes. The air is actually coming through both of the posts. And you can see on the inside of the cap here, we have two little inlets. And this is actually your juice flow control by twisting the top cap of the tank. Twisting the top cap there will open and close those juice fill holes. And the drip tip here actually comes off. It is a normal 510 drip tip. You can actually fit a 510 drip tip in the in the top cap there as well if you prefer and the top cap lifts off if you lift it vertically you can see these two little ridges in there and those index on the square for the center pillar in the tank by rotating the top cap that is what's actually controlling those juice fill holes the tank itself comes off and you get a better look at these two little notches on either side those two notches index with the little notch in the sleeve and that keeps the entire uh, assembly from rotating when the tank is installed. Pressing the top cap down and rotating to the left a quarter turn will keep everything locked in in place so it won't come apart in your pocket. Now I wanna show you the bottom here. The, it is a bottom airflow design. As I said, airflow comes up through the two, two center posts. Now these two little tabs here on the bottom cover uh, those openings for the center posts and simply by rotating that you can open and close your airflow You can see a little bit of a gap at the moment. It's not fully installed because uh, I haven't pressed it all the way down onto that o-ring These are some basic building tools you'll need. We're gonna go ahead and install a single Clapton coil onto the deck Now the deck installation is really really easy I took one screw out so I can slide the Clapton coil in and it drops right into place Simply tightening down the leads will get everything sorted and we'll fire it up here and give it a test in a few minutes. Now I did all the heating and testing before so make sure there's no hot spots, but as long as it's warming up from the middle, you should be all right. Now I'm using about quarter inch or so of cotton and I prefer the Scottish roll method where you peel off the top and the bottom of the cotton. This is totally not necessary. It's strictly a personal preference. I find it wicks a little bit better if you separate the cotton and allow it to expand more evenly. Give it a quick roll. Pull it through nice and simple, easy resistance, and you're in business. Let's clip the one edge. Now you do wanna leave quite a bit of cotton uh, sticking out either side. The goal here is that we're gonna be kind of poofing either side. So I simply just roll and tuck the corner into the little juice well on both sides. And you'll notice that this creates kind of these two little bows on either side. And it's really important to have those little peaks because they're going to index with that, that juice cap I showed you earlier. A simple install of the top cap is to push down and twist. And you can take this time right now to pre-wick, uh, sorry, pre-wet your cotton and make sure that the wick is, is in the same position as you left it and sort of give it a touch up if you need. And again, it is incredibly important that the cotton is sticking up past the coil and should sit just below those two little notches in the sleeve, one there and one there. Those two little notches will line up with the top cap keeping everything indexed. Make sure you close off the juice fill. Tank will snap into place you should be coming down both of those little inlets. We'll fire it up and give it a test run. So go ahead and give the tank a fill and when you're reinstalling the top cap, just make sure you open those juice holes. Another thing that's really cool is I've made all of my little top caps interchangeable. From the Indestructible to the Indie Duo, even the Bambino top cap will fit on the new cylinder. You just simply remove the tank and then the tank can be placed on any other of my atomizers and vice versa. So that's it for the first look of the Cillin RTA. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Gotta fix the mustache. Here, and today, I'm gonna get to show you my latest creation, the Cillin. 
don't know why I put it at you. You can't see. <laughs> it's been a while. Let's try opening the juice filter. And then this fits on there nicely. Open the juice fill. Yeah, let's fucking do that again. <laughs> 